In this problem, we're being asked to solve for y. When we solve for a variable, what we want is to get y alone on one side of the equation, one side of the equal sign, and something else on the other side, usually a number. And that tells us what y is, what y equals. In this case, we've got this negative 3 force on this side of the equation, which is a problem. If it was gone, then y would be alone on this side. So we want to get rid of that negative 3 force. How are we going to do that? Well, let me rewrite this problem just so I can leave a little space for myself. So y minus 3 fourths equals negative 1 half. The rule about equations is that you can pretty much do whatever you want to either side of the equation as long as you do the same thing to the other side. You can think of this equal sign like the point of balance on a seesaw or a scale. If you add something to this side, you have to add the same amount to this side to keep things balanced. If you subtract something from this side, you have to subtract the same amount from this side to keep it balanced. So what I'm going to do to get rid of this negative 3 fourths, I'm going to add something to this side, and then I'll have to add it to this side as well. So what would I add to this side to get rid of a negative 3 fourths? Well, I would add 3 fourths, because a negative 3 fourths and a positive 3 fourths adds up to 0. So this becomes y plus 0 equals negative 1. Well, wait a second. I have to do the plus 3 fourths to both sides. So this has to be plus 3 fourths over here. And this will be plus 3 fourths down here. So this is y plus 0 equals negative 1 half plus 3 fourths. And I don't even need to write that y plus 0. y plus 0 is just y. So this is y equals negative 1 half plus 3 fourths. And now, to finish solving for y, we just have to do this fraction addition problem. I don't have common denominators, but it looks pretty easy to make them common. I've got a 2 and a 4. I could turn this 2 into a 4 by multiplying it by 2. Whoops. So 2 over 2 is what I'll multiply by here. So I get y equals negative 2 over 4 plus 3 fourths. And a negative 2 plus 3 is 1. So this is 1 fourth. So y equals 1 fourth. So that is how to solve for y in a problem like this with fractions.